Now recording videos with Adobe Presenter Video Express is all the more simple. With the new name from Presenter Video Creator to Presenter Video Express, it lives up to its name. Let's take a look at the new user interface for this HD video recording tool. To start Adobe Presenter Video Express, just go ahead and click on Adobe Presenter Video Express icon you get to watch uh, some example videos created using Adobe Presenter Video Express so that you can get some inspiration. To start recording, all you have to do is click this green uh, button. This is how it'll look like once you uh, hit that green record button. From here, you can select the camera that you want to uh, use for your recording and you can select the microphone that you want to use for your recording. From here, you can adjust what should be the level of audio that is being recorded. And if you have a script that you have already created, you can, uh, you know, uh, switch this on and it will allow you to add your script over here so that it can easily help you convert your um, speech to text. So let's switch this off because I don't have a script in hand and what you can do is you can start recording by clicking here. Once you start recording, you will see a counter 3 to 1 and then you start recording. To end recording, you just have to press shift plus N key and that will stop the recording for you. Here's the project that I just recorded. So let's me, let me open it. Now it's time to edit the video. The first thing that you've been always doing is you can apply a theme here which includes intro and exit clip and a background image for both views. So here uh, we've added five new themes so that you can make your videos look more professional. So let's choose one of the themes and on top of that you can go ahead and add a video text title and then you can decide what should be the placement of this video uh, title uh, as you require. After that, you, you can click at the beginning of the video where you want the lower third text to appear and start typing and it will show instantly on your video. And it's not limited to this. With Adobe Presenter 10, you can now have multiple lower third text. So if you have multiple speakers or in your video, what you can do is just go to that particular uh, point where you want to add uh, a, a new lower third text just go there and start typing here i can add one more lower third text in case i have a new speaker at this position now let's look at the other editing options that have improvements so here if you remember from presenter 8 and 9 we used to have some four buttons here uh, where we had yellow for you green for the screen and there were two blue buttons for both now we have combined that button into one and it's a smart button which allows you to add a presenter at left by default but as soon as you uh, click it again at the blue area it changes to presenter at the right and then it continues doing that so you can use the simple three button interface to change the layouts of your videos let's make some changes here so i play the video and at the position where i want the screen to change the layout i can go and change it to the green layout and when i want both the layouts to be present i i can change it to uh, this particular layout and i can keep doing that um, as and when i want my layouts to change not only this i can increase and decrease the duration of these layouts from the timeline itself so i don't have to uh, go and um, you know add a new layout again if i want to increase or decrease this i can easily go and increase this to as long or as short i want so a lot of flexibility here that we've added in presenter 10. now let's look at the pan and zoom workflow this remains the same uh, at the first look of it but as soon as you start adding uh, pan and zoom you will notice that we now have these movable pans and zoom so you can see this uh, pan and zoom area i can place it wherever i want on the screen i can also easily go and delete just select it will become dark blue and hit the delete key and that pan and zoom area will be gone now let's look at the trim workflow so just click this button and instead of clicking the buttons uh, next to trim button now we have made it very intuitive so that you just have to work on the timeline now to start trimming all you have to do is 
click this plus sign it will start playing the video and when you feel that that area is uh, enough you want to stop it there just go and click this pause button and that will pause uh, trimming the video or just go ahead and hit space bar and that will pause that area if you are happy with this area go ahead and click this tick mark and it will be uh, you will be able to commit to the change but if you want to make some changes to it what you can do is you can click this tick and then also you can easily drag this end point or the start point and it will allow you to uh, remove that portion from your video you can also easily add close captions to your video so just go ahead and click on the cc button and it will generate closed captions for you and once these captions are generated you can go ahead and make edits to it if some of the words are not generated correctly we have one more option now so in the previous versions we had the closed captions embedded in the video now you can generate an srt file from your caption so that you can use it separately uh, to do that just go ahead and click this embed button and it will turn to external and now when you publish this video you will get an srt file that you can use separately once you're done with all these edits go ahead and click publish and that will allow you to publish to your computer enable analytics and publish to computer export to powerpoint uh, upload to connect youtube or vimeo so you can go ahead and use one of these options to publish your hd training videos and don't forget to try out enable analytics and publish to computer this will give you some great analytics reports and allow your students to collaborate while watching the video